At this point, hopefully you've decided what your MVP or minimum viable product is, how you want to prototype it, you've decided to use Arduino, and we know what it needs to do. So how do we do it? Well, first thing you need to do is get into the software. Now, believe it or not, there's not just one way of programming the Arduino, there's many different ways, and I'm going to go over a few of them right now. The first ones I want to talk about are what I consider the visual programming guides. You might be familiar with them with something like Scratch. That's quite often used for programming simple games or even using the Raspberry Pi. Another one you might know about is ModKit. There's a micro version, it's Mac and PC. You can use that to program an Arduino. There's also MiniBlock, which is PC only at this point. ArduBlock, which is Mac, PC, and Linux. These are all visual drag and drop elements to program an Arduino. They are basic, but you can actually expand them to be more complicated and do more advanced things. Typically, they're found in an educational setting. I don't use them personally, but I have in the past, and I've used them with my kids. They are a lot of fun. It's a great way to get started. Another way you can program the Arduino is actually through a website, which is pretty cool. CodeBender is by far the most popular one right now. It runs on a Mac, a PC, it runs right in a browser. And what's really interesting about it is you can run it on a Chromebook. So it actually runs the Chrome OS. And that enables you to have a very low cost computer for programming in Arduino. It's pretty exciting, again, especially in an educational market. It's nice to have a Chromebook laying around for when you travel and you want to program, or maybe you just have a desktop and you want something real mobile that you can put on a workbench, and they're, they're pretty affordable at this point. So it's, a, it's another great option. On the other end of the spectrum is the Atmel Studio software, which allows you to program the microcontroller directly through the ICSP, which is the in-circuit system programmer, using an ISP, an in-system programmer. That, an, that allows you to do even more advanced features. It's kind of beyond the scope of what I want to cover in this video series, because really what I want to do here is say, I want to ring a doorbell and it send me a text message. I just want to get right into it, get my hands dirty, up and running. And believe it or not, with this and some very affordable and uh, easy to access IDEs or integrated development environments, we can do that. It's, it's pretty exciting. So what are we going to use to program our Arduino? We're going to use the official Arduino software that can be downloaded from the official Arduino website. Now it should be noted that there is a bit of a split with the Arduino team. There's Arduino.cc and there's Arduino.org. I'm not gonna get into what happened or what's going on. You can look online and, and read all about it. But for this course, we are going to be using the software from Arduino.cc. So go ahead and log in there and you will see you actually have two choices. One of them would be you can program this online right through your browser, pretty neat, very similar to CodeBender. The other way is to download and install the IDE, which is the Integrated Development Environment, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I will go right over here, and again, arduino.cc. I click on Download, and here you can see there's a Windows installer, a Mac installer, Linux. I happen to be using Mac OS, and it's already installed. You can actually grab the source code and lots of other features in here, but we're not gonna go over that now. So go ahead and pick your favorite flavor of Arduino, download it and install it. It's very simple. I don't think I even need to walk you through that process. And then we'll go over exactly what's in the software and we'll get to hooking this Arduino up. 